Hey everyone, Big Dave here with Family Dream Homes of Bowling Green. Today we're going to take an awesome tour of a Deer Valley home. It's called The Haven. Uh, this home features three bedrooms, two baths. It's about 1,230 square feet. It's also available in a two bedroom with a porch on it. You're not going to miss this tour, guys. Stick around. Welcome in everybody. Thank you for joining me today. As always, if you like what you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment for anything that you have a question about. I'd be more than happy to accent that for or answer that for you. Excuse me, I can't talk this morning. Uh, I just wanted to show you that we're at a Deer Valley home today here in Bowling Green. This is the Haven. I know if people have seen it online as a two-bedroom with the porch. But I'm kind of walking down across the front of this. It's kind of tight down through here, so y'all bear with me. I'll show you the nice nice high dormer up there with the hardy board fascia on it. Cedar shutters. And again, these homes do come with storm doors. They just ship them loose and they put install them when they get out on the property. I love their light fixtures outside there. Looks so nice. Got the gridded windows, croft windows as usual. Nice cedar shutters. This home's kind of a short tour because it's a, it's kind of a small house. So I'm not gonna lie to you. Won't be a real long, long tour. All right, can I give you all a nice view of the front of it? All right, I'll go around the side here. Try to fight through the mud and the muck over here. It's all OSB wrapped. Recessed frame as we talked about the other day, as you can see. Come around the back of the home here. Bedroom window right here off the back. Get your drop right there. Exterior frostless water faucet. Nice window over in the master bath right there. Nice windows. Got your connections down here. Electric right here, and your fresh water connection. You got an exterior receptacle right here. G GFI. Now the cool thing about this house, I wanted to show you. This house comes in on one frame. Both halves come on the same frame. And then when they get it out there to the retailer, they cut the frame right there, take the two pieces apart. As you can see over there, there's the other piece, and they make it into a standard kind of style house you know kind of a unique way to get it there kind of saves on freight a little bit it saves about 90 feet rolling down the highway now this home here features if you can see this real well an indoor on it so it's really nice if you wanted to tie into like building a garage onto the end of your home uh, something like that or a carport or a breezeway going into a shop uh, it really helps you have that door kind of right off the end so you can tie right in up there at the, at the gable up there and just kind of go right into it be a nice, nice flush look to it. Got two windows right here off your dining room. On this side of the house, give you a lot of light. And also back around the front here. Those right there go into that dining room too. All right, guys, let's go inside and take a tour. All right, man. Let's go inside and see what this house looks like. Everybody, welcome to the Haven. Beautiful home. I love the layout of this little house. This is perfect for somebody that's kind of downsizing, looking for a little less space, uh, something easy to maintain. Come back around here towards the front door for you. Got this beautiful, nice windows right here, letting in natural light into the living room. Got your crown moldings up top as well. And you got these beams up here, kind of sets off this room. The ceiling fan and everything, how it kind of stands out to you. And a nice look to it. Got the LVT flooring throughout in here. Of course, that's the marriage line right there. Once it's set up and trimmed out on your property, it'll all be finished out. 
Same way over here, these joints and stuff. I'll show you that. Kind of show you how that's all put together right there. All right, where to go first? There's so much stuff to see in this house. So I guess we'll go over here off the living room to this first guest bedroom right here. And of course, I'll post the dimensions as well. That way you'll have them. And as you can see right there, there's the storm doors I was telling you about. See how they kind of ship them loose in here for you? That way when Deer Valley comes out to do their trim out, they can just install them right there. They don't have to worry about them getting broke or tore up or anything. As always, the Deer Valley homes come with blinds and balances on your windows. I'm going to kind of paint up here. This house here, they got it featured with overhead air. So there's your overhead air ducts right there. Of course, your fire alarm right there that's wired into the house. So if one goes, they all go. Nice closet space right here. It's kind of full of stuff right now at the moment. But that's okay. All right. That crown molding's in the bedrooms as well. Another thing that I always like to point out, that I meant to point out last time, I guess, is like on Deer Valley Homes, as you can see the door right there. A lot of your older mobile homes are manufactured, even some of your new ones, they have these shorter doors. They're about two inches from the ground, it seems like. And that's for airflow and ventilation to let the house circulate um, you know, as, as well as possible. But Deer Valley has standard length doors. That way, because they use that overhead duct system. And, uh, this is coming into the extra other bedroom right here. And that's the door right there that goes on the utility room. Kind of lets the air flow through there as well. Let's see. All right, I'm coming right here into the closet. Got two rows of shelves right here. Got some nice storage. All right. I don't know if anybody has seen this or not, but this right here, this drywall, this is a bullnose corner. So I don't know if you can see it or not on the camera, but it's rounded. It doesn't have the square edge to it. So it's got a very nice high end, nice, like you see in some of these luxury homes, it looks really, really good. Um, it's nice if you have kids running around in there and don't want to crack their head on the corner. And something else I'm going to show you while I'm here, since they have some extra of it. Let's see if you can see what this is. Now I encourage everybody to do your research on this. This is LP Tech Shield. Deer Valley uses this material underneath the shingles on the roof. And why does that help us? That material right there is a foil wrapped OSB. So being that it's foil wrapped, it allows the sun when it comes through the shingles to kind of beat off and shoot back up and reflect. And it keeps your attics about 30% cooler. All right, so this is coming into our guest bathroom right here, right off the living room. And this cabinet storage, if you can see this or not, there's a nice cubby up there for you can do some extra stuff. But this little cubby is right here as you're coming into the door. So it's a nice little linen stack. They use they The use of space in this house is, is excellent because it's such a kind of, you know, smaller home. They have to have extra storage wherever possible. I don't know if you can see this coming into this guest bathroom or not. And this is coming off the living room, so you can see how that cabinet's tucked off to your left there. All right, so it's coming into the guest bathroom. Deer Valley has these oversized tubs. I don't know if you can see this or not, how big and wide this tub is. It's, it's nice and deep. It's a good secondary tub for kids. Um, this one here, this particular model in the master does not have a, uh, you know, it does not have a tub in there. So this makes it really handy to have this nice big tub in. So you still have your soaker tub. Uh, and still can get kicked back and relax if you like tubs. Here's the sink with the bronze faucet on it. Storage underneath it here in the cabinetry. Got plenty of open space down there for that. Got your overhead exhaust fan. You see right there. Your overhead air duct as well. All right. So there's your guest bathroom right off the living room. Get a nice look to it. All right, so I'm gonna pan back around here. And if I go in, in sequence here, I'd be going to the, the master bedroom, but I'm gonna save it to last. We're gonna come in here to the kitchen real quick. I love these island ends. This is a real cedar boxed end on this island right here. And you can see there's a receptacle right there. So this island, this end right here kind of really sets this island off. And this countertop is a waterfall edge for mica. It's antique lime pine. So it's got that nice rustic barnwood look to it. 
as always all of our homes are insulated for zone three so that'd be your yellow area right there it makes our homes efficient all the way up to michigan maine vermont uh, the canadian border all that good stuff of course a little highlight right there talks about our lifetime warranty and what it covers all right so coming around this side of the island here get your bar seating you can fit probably you know depending on the size of the bar stools three or four bar stools there pretty easily got lots of nice cam lighting in here so it gives you a lot of really nice lighting as you can see you got frigidaire appliances the smooth top stove Got your space saver microwave right here. Like I said, these microwaves got lots of space in them. You see how wide this thing is? It's got a lot of space in there. Like I said, they're frigid air, nice smooth top, stainless appliances. Come across from that right here, you have your island with your farm sink in it. Big single bowl farm sink with a brush stainless uh, water faucet there. Frigid air dishwasher and stainless as well. Well, that's a nice cabinet space and this is under the sink right here if you ever want to if you're out looking at homes just doesn't matter where you're going if you ever go out and look and you look underneath the kitchen sink you should have a label that looks like that right there that tells you your efficiency rating on each of your homes so when you get down here to it i'm gonna try to get down here where you can kind of see it and kind of read it a little bit but basically it says with the zone three package that we put in these homes this home will run efficient if it's 70 degrees outside or 30, negative 30 degrees outside. It'll maintain a 70 degree internal temperature. So that's pretty dang good. All right. So here we go. Into the kitchen cabinets right beside the stove here in the microwave. Adjustable shelves as usual. Soft close hinges. That never gets old. Another one of them big drawers here that I like so much. You can tell I, 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 my house, we don't have enough storage. So I love storage i love a good you know drawer space those are full extension maple they're dovetail look at this big open cabinet down here it's got a little shelf back there in the back but it's a very nice cabinet all right i close those up come around here above the microwave here as i told you before like in the shallow tour this is vented out you do have a plug right there for your microwave. So if it ever goes out, you ain't got to be a master electrician to go in there and hardwire it back in or anything like that. It's pretty plug and play. Soft close. All right, other side of the microwave, you have two more cabinets over here, up top. Another one of these big drawers. I mean, that's, that's just crazy how much space that is. Cabinets on the bottom right there as well. All right, then you got your two big cabinets over top of the fridge. So this... What I call no man's land cabinets. Once you get stuff to the back, you can't really reach it <laughs> unless you got a bar stool. So, all right, I'm gonna pan around here. This is the utility room. You see, nothing, nothing crazy. It's just right here. It's simple. You got just enough space. Put your washer and dryer in here. And yes, there will be a door right here. This is you know door framed in. Um, they're just gonna do it when they come out there trimming out on the house itself. Okay. All right. So here's the indoor, when we were outside doing our outside tour a while ago, I was talking about, and it comes right off the dining room. So you can put your garage right there, a carport, um, you know, just whatever kind of attachment, just a deck if you want, right off the end of the house. Really easy to tie it in. All right, so pan over here. This is the dining area off the kitchen. That beautiful chandelier up there that comes from the factory like that. And they have a couple different different lighting options, I believe. Of course, there's your overhead air duct right there, balances and all your blinds. I don't know if you can see this from the camera, but this is pretty good size space right here. You could fit a table bigger than this one. This is just a four person table. It would easily fit an eight person table right here with no problem whatsoever. All right, so we'll come back around here. This is the opposite side of the kitchen from the island. So you've got your island right here. It's a, kind of a galley style. As you swing back around, you have these cabinets right here. Kind of a buffet so you got overhead cabinets all the way down you got two more of them big big drawers you've got four base cabinets down here as well for extra storage and then you got a pantry stack right here i just i'm a big fan of these pantry stack cabinets they just they help you so much when you got storage i'm kind of go all the way down here for you see so you can see how far down this thing goes 
all the way to the floor down there. So you've got lots of space. They're very, very deep. I don't know if you can see this or not, but that's my full arm in there. So you got plenty of space in there to put lots of goodies. All right. So let's spin around here. Going here to the master bath. All right. As usual, I'll post the, post the sizes on all these rooms so you can kind of see what you're looking at here. This home right here features two windows right off the back of this master bedroom. So you got space right there in between the windows. Believe it or not, it'll fit about a queen size bed pretty easily right there um, and not be over the windows. Now, if you go to a king size bed, it's gonna kind of hang over um, the windows a little bit with the headboard and stuff, um, but it still will be fine. You'll still have plenty of room for it, plenty of room to walk around. All right, you got your barn door slider right there, done in the whitewash shiplap. Beautiful. Coming into the master bath here. Like I was telling you all ago, this just has the shower in the master bath, but it has this beautiful Lido band mosaic in here. Now this one features the silver trim package if you're looking on their website in Pocono Oak tile. Now this is the full tile shower and they just recently changed the bottom uh, to a stone, kind of look like a stone path look to it. It looks really, really nice. Um, I'll try to get a picture to post with this, but this shower is four foot by eight foot. So you've got all kinds of space in here. I'm standing in the shower. I'm sure you hear my reverberation in my voice. There's me turn it on so you don't have to get in the shower and get you know the cold water on your head. You can turn it on over here. Then walk into where the water is going to be once the water is to the temperature you'd like. So there's your secondary sprayer. Rain shower head right there. Of course, you got your nice can light up there to give you some nice lighting. Very nice. And yes, folks, this is real ceramic tile. It's not fake. It's not plastic. It's not imitation. It's the real deal. Have a linen stack here in the master bath. You can see right here. So this gives you a lot of nice storage for towels and wash rags and shampoos and whatnot. Top to bottom. Throne room is not in a room, but it's kind of off by itself here behind the shower. So you get a little bit of privacy right here. So it's nice space. I'm a big guy and that's, that's very comfortable there. It's very, there's a lot of room, so you won't be cramped there. There's that window that was off the back coming into the master bath to give it some nice lighting right here. Your exhaust fan to kind of get the moisture out of here. Right there. All right, pan back around here. We're gonna go over here to the master closet. All right, so you got wire shelving in here. Now this is upgradable to the wood shelf like we talked about and um, seeing the other homes. Um, you have the top rack and you also have a bottom rack right here. Um, now this particular home has the water heater kind of right here. It's in this closet. You see this is the panel right there, okay? So this home is customizable. So Deer Valley does a lot of changes. You know, they can do a lot of things. Um, you know, certain houses are kind of in, you know, the confines of the floor plan to make adjustments to. But, um, you know, they definitely can, can make changes to accommodate different tastes and stuff like that. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and touring the Haven with me. If you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment and I'll be happy to answer those. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, you know, share this content with everybody and just let them know. Hit that notification bell. Um, and, you know, that way we can get this content out there and help other people see these beautiful homes. Guys, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. God bless. Thank you so much for taking this tour with me today. If you'd like more information on this particular home, uh, be sure to leave me a comment below. I'll leave a link in the description as well, and uh, that way I can kind of get back with you and get your questions answered, okay? I don't mind at all. I really enjoy that part of it, actually. I get a lot of a lot of people asking me questions and phone calls, uh, and that's kind of the best part of my day. But uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit that little notification bell up here for me. Um, that way we can get this content out there and let people know about it. That way they can see what's available, um, whether it be available in your area or not. Um, I just try to get these houses out there so folks can kind of see what manufactured homes are uh, from what they used to be. Um, of course, I'm out of the Bowling Green, Kentucky office. 
Uh, we cover about a 200 mile radius from our store location. Um, but you know, if, if it's out of our range, I'd be more than happy to help you out and uh, kind of put you in contact with somebody that is closer to you that might be able to help you out. So, um, you know, just uh, like I said, leave me a comment. Be sure to ask those questions. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Guys, thank you so much. As always, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.